Have a cluckin' good time this holiday season with the world-famous Uncle Lou's Fried Chicken. Uncle Lou's has recently been featured on the Food Network's highly acclaimed show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And here's why. Uncle Lou's features incredible food and is home to the Monster Burger. The Monster Burger really is a monster. A third of a pound of beef stacked between five pieces of cheese and served on a Kaiser bun. They got his name from my youngest daughter, which uh, we did singles, doubles, and my cousin, if I could do him a triple one day, he came in and like, my youngest daughter was like, ooh, that's a Monster Burger, so that's for the Monster Burger, got his birth. But the key to it is our seasoning, which is called corruption. For holiday gifts, you can't go wrong with Uncle Lou's seasonings and sauce. All our burgers, our side items, our fries, we put our special seasoning, which is called corruption. The reason the name is corruption, once you've tasted it, you've been corrupted. So, which uh, Gaffietti made famous. That and our sweet spicy love, which was originally called honey dip sauce, until he came to town and tasted it, he's like, that's sweet spicy love, so no name change. No longer honey dip sauce, sweet spicy love. Or give a gift to everyone, yourself included, when you have Uncle Lou's cater your holiday party or family affair. Uncle Lou's Fried Chicken is available for you 24-7 with a new online store. Just head to UncleLou'sFriedChicken.com. Treat your someone special to a tasty time this holiday season at Uncle Lou's Fried Chicken. Give a gift certificate to Uncle Lou's. Gift wrap Uncle Lou's seasonings or sauce. Or get your holiday catering. A great solution for your holiday gift giving and holiday meal planning. UncleLou'sFriedChicken.com. Uncle Lou's, 3633 Mill Branch Road. Call today, 332-2367. Come on down and see us at Uncle Lou's Fried Chicken. This is the home staff. Home Where the chicken's fried. It's fresh, it's hot, and it's tasty. Dip. That's like sweet, spicy love. And dropped it whole. Too close to getting a hug right now. We're just going to leave it at that. All right. You know what, diner drivings and dives, how I like to find the funkiest joints in town? Well, I found one here in Memphis, Tennessee, in a strip mall by the airport. It's a place called Uncle Lou's, and he's doing chicken one of my favorite ways, fried and dip. Chicken number 123. This is the best way to get chicken. One all that, one dip. Take the tongue, take the brains out. That's how Uncle Lou's, yeah, we got the honey dip, the home style, either the spicy. One more. You always come back to Uncle Lou's. In the world of chicken, how does this rate? Right at the very top. It's awesome. It's better than home cooking. It's Uncle Lou's home cooking. I've kind of been cooking just about all my life. All right, A few years ago, you doing all right? Lewis Martin opened his own joint. What we got going now? Doing chicken the way his great grandmother did. Can you get all this out by yourself? And folks just went nuts. I drove 30 miles to come eat. No kidding. That's not good enough. The chicken and the sauce. Well, you got to try this. This is bananas. And bananas is good. You know that, though, don't you? And get this. He's even frying it whole. Oh, my God. And the crowd? How are y'all doing? Keep packing in. How's it going, guys? No fast and southern chicken. You see the crazy hands and everything. This chicken is fresh, it's hot, and it's tasty. Now, who made this recipe? The basis came from my great-grandmother. All-purpose flour? Seems like quite a bit, doesn't it? Black pepper. What is this, a ratio of two to one? Close to like three to one. A little salt. Got a little onion. A little garlic. Guess what the other one is? Cinnamon. Hey. Is it cinnamon? That's what it is. I'm like, I'm not the kidding. It. That is that that is the first. Okay, so we just dredged. Oh, so this doesn't go in a wash or anything? No. And this is how your grandma did it. My great grandmother. Do you dredge it in the in the mixture to order? We do. Good door. You want to shake the excess off because we'd like to have a light coating. Thigh first, then the drum, then the breast. Wing. Oh, you're going to go wing, then the breast. So that breast is even going to cook faster than that little wing ding. Bingo. And we play bingo. Twelve minutes. Let me set the timer here. Get golden brown. Hey, guess who's dumb enough to take a bite of that right now? Nobody. <laughs> Evidently, you haven't seen the show. <laughs> That's home style. Home style. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Good crunch. That's why we don't do the egg wash. You cook that chicken skin, that, that crunchy chicken skin that people like. Right, you can hear that sauce calling my name. <laughs> it has to 
be something special he puts in the song. It's not like any chicken I've ever had anywhere else. Is this like a barbecue sauce? No, it's more like a buffalo wing sauce. Whose recipe is this? This one is mine. This is yours? This one is mine. Red wine vinegar, Louisiana Cajun chef. We're still in Tennessee now, right? We're still in Tennessee. Now what are we making? Those spices are going to go in big. Garlic? Chili powder or cut? Wow, chili powder. Wow! Salt? Mmm, I love that. Is that pepper? It's got to be onion. Celery salt. That's the sugar. Lemon pepper. Smoke? Hickory smoke. All right. This is called corruption. This is called the corruption? Corruption. Once you've tasted it, you've been corrupted. Really? Bingo. Bingo! <laughs> In? In. As soon as it comes to a ball, I try to get the corruption in as soon as possible because we don't want the vinegar to evaporate. Now, when's the honey going? Right now. We turn off the heat? And then we double honey. Honey dip salt? Yeah. Complete. Oh, different. No, money. That's like sweet, spicy love. No dead. Name change. No longer honey dip sauce. Sweet, sweet spicy love. <laughs> Is it going to go in our sauce? Do we ladle over the... We call it honey dip, not honey ladled. That's it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow, man. You're close to getting a hug right now. We're just going to leave it at that. Hi. You get the vinegar, back up with the sweetness, and just a little heat. Want a little more heat? I got to try more spicy. No problem. Uncle Lou's got that, too. We have a less spicy and a more spicy. You just have spicy? Spicy is the less spicy. You got to start with a spicy. Right. And then we made a more spicy, which made the original spicy less spicy. <laughs> Did I just buy that street? How do we make it more spicy? 200 heat, cayenne pepper. That's what I'm talking about. Just hard enough to make you thirsty. Won't make your hair stand on the end. Just let you... <laughs> I knew you understood. <laughs> and Uncle Lou's no one hit one. So Jumbo T Burger. Folks are loving whatever he's cooking. Like honey dip fried bologna. Oh, yeah. My favorite good it is good. And a dip smoked sausage sandwich. Just soaks in the bread and it's great. And Jumbo Cheeseburger? Just a cheeseburger to have. He makes a real good monster burger here. But even with all that. Stuff gets better every time I eat it. <laughs> the name is still Uncle Lou's Fried Chicken. And he's taking it to the max. Whole fried chicken? That's our secret to item. I can stand with it. Let's make a mess on paper. So we're going to inject the bird. Cajun Creole butter. Like something you buy. So you move it around a little bit. There you go. But you don't go through the skin because then it can have a chance to leak. Now you have to be a little bit choosy about the marinade you do because it's got a bunch of sugar in it to burn your oil. Exactly. Leave it that first. 40 minutes? 40 minutes. You going to dunk it or serve it? We're going to dunk it. Look at that. That's the magic. The corruption. By the way, I am taking the corruption home with me. Uh, I... Oh, my God. You can really pick up the flavor of that garlic butter. You really don't need a knife. Mm, look how tender and juicy that is. And that's, it's not really oily. I think people think, oh, you fried it. It's got to be all oily. Take our first family photo. <laughs> <laughs> looks like I said it. You're off the chain, man. I got to tell you. Wow, that's good. This is like real chicken. All right, man. What do you think? Oh, it is. It is. It's, it's very good chicken. Yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. The hot wings here are great. Mama doesn't even think it better than that. You ever had this chicken? It's crazy. You got a lot to be proud of. Thank you. If you live within 300 miles of this joint, mm -hmm. you should be getting yourself over here. Right quick now. You know what I do? Chicken's free. Napkins are 500 bucks each. Why couldn't less spicy be spicy, more spicy be more spicy than the spicy, but homestyle be the non-spicy, so spicy, less spicy in the middle? And I feel like I just bought the street. <laughs>